Judy's. It's Subs Week here on Pagan Perspective and the topic for this week is who do you work for slash with? And the topic has been sent in by Shineri Vu who says is there any one or pantheon of gods or spirits that you work with or who you've worked with um, maybe many different ones? Are you also working with any angels, spirits, demons or fae? Do you believe in them and why? And are any of them considered to be truly evil or truly good? So, quite an interesting selection of ideas there. Um, and this again, or oh, it's something that really does differ between every single person. Um, for me personally, I really do only work with the god and the goddess. Um, however, I do work with different aspects of god and goddess. A lot of people again view, view that particular thought very differently themselves. Some people think that you work with many different gods and goddesses, whereas I think you work with many different aspects of god and goddess. So when you say that you're calling on Diana or you're calling on Venus, um, you can be calling on different aspects of goddess. Therefore, if I was casting a spell or a ritual, I would never evoke two goddesses at the same time I would choose the aspect of the goddess that most related to me because you couldn't call upon what I believe I don't want to offend anybody who does think differently I couldn't call two goddesses at the same time because I believe there is only one source of goddess that that is a universal energy and there is only one god which again is a source of universal energy but with different properties goddess being the feminine aspect of energy, god being the male aspect of energy. So if I was going to call on a goddess for a particular reason, say I was doing a love spell, I might decide to call on Aphrodite. That doesn't necessarily, I believe, that there is an Aphrodite and there's also several other goddesses. I believe that there is one goddess and I would like for her to be present in the form of Aphrodite with the energies associated with Aphrodite because that best suits my particular working. So I, that sort of answers do you work with many gods? Yes I do. I work with many different aspects of the god and the goddess and when I'm doing spells or rituals I will call on the gods and goddesses um, whose aspects most suit my needs at the time. Again, for Sabbaths, I will call on the specific deities associated with the Sabbaths, such as at Imolk, I will call on Bridget, or Breed, depending on how you pronounce it. Um, personally, I tend to work with the aspects of Persephone and Hades. Um, this does tend to cause quite a lot of confusion for people, because when I say Hades, people non-pagan people specifically um, think that I'm referring to the idea of God as Satan or that I'm referring to some sort of underworld lord over hell type thing but really for me Hades is a necessary part of life you know he looks after those who have passed on because it is necessary for people to pass on it is necessary for people to die and plants to die and animals to die and when they do they need a place to go and rest their souls before being regenerated by the goddess so that is why i like the idea of hades for me that is his primary role is the overlord of those who have passed on before and for Persephone, they are a working partnership. Hades and Persephone are husband and wife. Persephone herself is um, a two sort of sided goddess. She is present as Kore, which is what she went by before she was taken to the underworld by Hades to be his wife. Kore was the spring or maiden goddess. And um, I do quite like that, that joyful frivolity present in the maiden aspect of the goddess but also as Persephone she sort of steps up her game so to speak and she does the necessary things such as helping people to move on as Hades's wife um, but also she is the mothering aspect of the goddess you know she's the wife she is the lover as well so I think for me Persephone covers the triple aspect of the goddess not so much crone um, but I suppose she does a little bit as 
um, a, in a partnership to Hades. She does sort of cover crone aspects, but for me that most covers how I see the goddess and the god as a wor working partnership and as life and death together, really. You've got on one hand the spring goddess who was taken from her prime she was taken to um, the underworld and it quite um, covers my idea of the descent of the goddess that is a, a a very staple part of my understanding and my relationship to the god and goddess is the descent of the goddess and that story itself fits perfectly with my idea of the descent of the goddess so they are what you'd call my patron god and goddess as for other things such as angels, spirits, demons or fae, um, I don't really work with any other spirits, so to speak. Um, I don't really call upon elementals in any kind of working at all. I do keep fairy statues on my altar, but again, that is more of a representation of the energies associated with that element, rather than my actual belief in any kind of physical spirit. Um, and when I leave offerings outside, I generally leave them to the fairies or the fae folk. Um, again, as a representation of my giving back to Earth. So in giving back to that particular element, I will give it to the fairies because I believe they are the spiritual representation of Earth. Such as, you know, mermaids or undines being spiritual representations of water um, or anything like that. Sylph, I think, is for air, or salamanders or dragons being for the south corner. I don't necessarily believe these things are real, but they are a spiritual representation of these elements. So I do, I do use their imagery sometimes, but I don't necessarily call upon them in my working. Uh, I don't use demons at all. I don't believe in the idea of demons or anything like that. And I don't really work with angels, although I am open to the concept of spirit guides or angels being uh, people who have passed on who are there in spirit form to look after you and to guide you I do believe that people's spirits can linger because they are attached to you your memory of these people your love for these people never actually leaves you once you've had that connection with somebody um, who's passed on they never really leave you because your love for them remains and as long as there's somebody left on earth who does remember them I believe that therefore their spirit is present in that love that remains behind after their physical body has departed and um, as for their soul or spirit I believe that that again is taken to the other world or um whatever it is that you believe the other world is the next part of our world and the spirits are sent there to rest and recuperate to draw their energies together again and then they are reincarnated by the goddess into another body to live another life that is my personal belief as far as that goes so i do believe in the idea of spirits and being able to communicate with spirits although i have not moved on to practicing that myself i do not think that i am skilled enough to go down that sort of road as far as my religion is concerned but no, I don't work with anything other than the god and the goddess in their many, many aspects. Um, so that is just what I think personally. Again, anybody that you ask, especially in the eclectic area of Wicca or paganism, everyone's going to have their own concept of spirits and gods and goddesses and everything. So I hope you've enjoyed listening to that, and bless it be.